gray hair. Okay, so maybe I'm exaggerating, but let's face it, we equate gray hair with getting older. But through all the clipping and plucking and coloring, have you ever stopped to wonder just what's going on? I mean, why does our hair turn gray? Well, the answer begins in your scalp. Your scalp contains hundreds of thousands of bulb-like structures called hair follicles. The follicles produce a protein called keratin, which grows out of your scalp like a blade of grass. That's right, that's your hair. Here's what a strand of hair looks like close up. Hey, wait a minute, I forgot something. The color. <coughs> the uh, color of your hair is the result of special cells in the hair follicle called melanocytes. The melanocytes secrete a brownish substance called melanin that mixes with the protein as it grows out of the follicle, creating your hair color. Now, just what color your hair is depends on the amount of melanin it contains. Brown hair, for example, contains a lot more melanin than blonde. Red hair is different. It contains a melanin rich in iron oxide, hence the nickname Rusty. But melanin is not only responsible for the color of our hair, it's also responsible for the color of our skin and eyes. Hey, wait a minute. Hair, skin, eyes? This melanin must be important stuff. Well, it is. And to find out why it's so important, look no further than our good friend, the sun. Ah, the sun. Provider of heat, light, and ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation is what gives you a sunburn. So what does that have to do with melanin? Well, protection. The melanocytes in your skin pump out a layer of melanin just below the surface. This acts like a shield, converting damaging UV radiation into harmless infrared radiation, or heat. So the more melanin you have near the surface of your skin, the more protection you have against the sun's UV rays, and the longer you can be exposed to the sun before you burn. Melanin is our own built-in sunscreen. So what does all this talk of melanin have to do with gray hair? Well, a gray hair is just a hair without melanin. All that's left is the keratin protein, which is a glassy white. That's right, gray hair is actually white. It just looks gray because it's mixed with hair that still has color. But why do our hair follicles suddenly stop producing melanin? Well, research has narrowed it down to an enzyme called tyrosinase. Without it, we can't make melanin. Unfortunately, no one's quite sure why our hair follicles stop producing tyrosinase. But what we do know is that just when you go gray and how fast depends on heredity. If one of your parents started going gray at 25, there's a good chance you will too. But you can take comfort in the fact that you won't be alone. Half of the population will have half their hair go gray by age 50. Now you may have heard some stories about people's hair going totally gray overnight because of some extreme trauma they experienced. Some people even claim their hair turned gray because of on-the-job stress. Are these stories true? Well, let's just say the scientific community has yet to find any scientific evidence to back up these claims. Now, where is my proof?